Let's do another Tuesday reading. Mars Day. If any anger comes up today, remember that anger is the emotion that propels us to change, to take action, to create boundaries, to channel, to transcend emotions and channel them into our passions. And it's what I'm getting. I'm feeling like this one. I allow myself to be happy no matter what is your message. Lots of self-love here. You've grown in in the area of self-love. Whoever I'm, I'm being called to, you've been through experiences that have helped you expand the love and respect you have for yourself. Another heart here, beautiful. As an apple, you've gained a lot of knowledge as well. If you were called to this reading, you have done things that perhaps were not mainstream, but your heart was in it. You knew it was the right path. And whoever I'm speaking to, I feel that these past years you have really are have been transforming into a new you and and there's a lot of love you had to face parts of your shadow parts of yourself um, you had to invest in changing the parts of yourself that allowed things that were not loving that were attached to people or or situations or living conditions that did not um, support your your peace and your mental health but i really feel like you shifted from that into a very loving space and the message here is to allow yourself to see all of your work I, i'm feeling a, a person who has really invested in their well-being you've had to make some very hard decisions here that have uplifted your life and now it's about reaping um, the seeds that you've planted uh, self-love remember is about loving the shadow <laughs> it's about em embracing those parts of yourself that we don't necessarily like we all have that because we live in a dualistic uh, planet and so um, there's day and night and there's parts of ourselves that we were not proud of and so i'm sensing an energy of someone who really faced um, the parts of themselves and healed those because what we like about ourselves we already love right it's the shadow parts of ourselves that we're not a fan of but when you face them as Carl Jung uh, used to uh, write about in his in his teachings in psychoanalytical uh, analytic, analytical psychology about going within observing the making the subconscious conscious i feel like you're a person who did that and that takes effort that takes a lot of that takes a lot of um of of effort and investment in yourself so i'm feeling a lot of pride here so whoever you are you're getting acknowledged you whatever belief system you endorse whether it's your higher self the divine if if you believe in a, a god outside of yourself that energy is extremely proud i'm feeling a lot of pride here in the work that you've done allow yourself to be happy to have some fun to have some joy to add a little bit of play into your life because my goodness you have you have really worked on yourself here 
And, and that's what I see. I hope that this reading was helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.